Right boys, welcome back to the channel. It is the climax to season three. Two games to go. We've had the opportunity to grasp that Champions League spot. We wanted nine points for them in three games. We've just lost in the most horrendous circumstances against Alaves, one of our rivals as well. Um, so it's all to play for today. We're one point behind Valencia with two games to go. Let's get it straight into it. Make sure you smash a like on today's video for me and let's see if we can finally nail a Champions League place. So since the last episode, four league games, Villarreal 2-2, Mo Gomez 80th minute equaliser, responded quite well, Real Valladolid, 2-1 victory there, a 1-0 victory there, Inaki Williams just doing enough, and then this game, oh my god, they took the lead on 26, penalty 88, they went down the other end and got themselves a penalty, that's happened to me, by the way, that scenario of two penalties in stoppage time to lose a game has happened to me three times in FM21 in the space of two days. I don't want to see it again. So, Granada and Ibar today for us, which is good. Granada fighting for their lives. No, they're pretty, they're pretty much gone. And then Ibar down there, away from home, last game of the season. And Valencia, the only team we can catch, are... Severe away and Barcelona at home with a Europa League final in between. So they've got a they've got a tough they've got a tough run in. This surely gives us the opportunity to get Champions League football, doesn't it? I would put us down as favourites. Let me know what you think. Are you expecting another FM Trek battle job? I've had a few of them in FM twenty one. Champions League football is really important to us. For the money, for the reputation, gets the board off my back. People like Serrano are now wondering whether his happiness, negative, is starting to consider whether he should be looking for a bigger club. He's only bloody 20. He's not actually doing, you know, to be fair, his, his numbers, his goal numbers are good, but his average ratings could be better and he's already looking at potentially leaving us. So we need to kick on. We need to get Champions League football. As you can see, Valencia have gone to Sevilla and won 2-0. So, pressure's on. We need to get a win today, at the very least. Does mean, though, we're highly likely we are. We're going to finish fifth. So, we've improved. We've improved. We've finished fifth, which is good. Or was it fifth last year? It might have been fifth last year, was it? Come on. Come on, Maddy. Sort it out. Where did we finish last year? Yeah, fifth last year. Sixth the season before. We're getting the best points. 68 points. 74 points. What are we on this year? No, we're way off this year. 64. We've only lost eight games, but the draws the draws are the killer. Right, let's go Granada game. We've got a few few selection issues here. Just got a message from the board as well. Delighted with the club's vision progress because we've we've qualified for Europa League, but that's not what we want. First choice, Yuri suspended. Second choice, injured. So Pablo Colombani, our youngster, who we've had in the squad for Half of the season, played three games for us over sort of at the Christmas period. He is in 17 years old. This is the start of looking at some young players for the next few years. Herrera is also suspended. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Sanche in there, but we're going to play Danny Garcia as a deep line playmaker. Sanche in the middle with Monayin. Villa Libra can get himself on the bench. Highly likely to leave in the summer. Can we get one final performance out of him maybe off the bench later on? Right, here we go. It just has to be a win. Remember, they've got Chelsea in midweek in the cup. They've also got Barcelona in. They've also got Barcelona in the in the in the league, the last game of the season. So you would hope if we can do our job that they're gonna slip up. Right, Mali. A turn in, Miller. I hate it when a, a, a game starts and the other team who are third bottom of the league, start passing it round. And we can't get a touch. At all. Can we get a block in? Columbani, done well. Oh, Williams nicks in. He is so good at that. He's on his left foot, though, which isn't the best. His right foot, from that kind of distance and angle, was never going to trouble the goalkeeper. 
Right, Act Pro. Mali. Back to Act Pro. Clipped one in the line. Atto. Keeping the ball quite well, Granada. Domingos. We're going to get it down. Sanchez. Into Martinez. Nice. Into Serrano. What have you got for us, big time? He's past one. He's passed a couple. And it's a weak effort in the end. Maybe could have even gone that a little bit further. Right, here we go. 18 minutes in. That's a risky ball from Martinez. A bit ridiculous, really. And they've got the ball back. Never. This game is worrying me here, boys. Oh, Simon. What the hell was this? Oh, I just got nowhere near it. Absolutely nowhere near it. We're a bunch of bottlers, aren't we, boys? Let's get in that dressing room. Throw a bottle. Far from pleased. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Um, I'm going to take Nunes off. We're going to get... Kappa on straight away. And we're going to be aggressive down this right-hand side. Winger on attack. Win back on attack. Straight away, demand more. Come on. Right, highlight. Their free kick. Are we going to get it down? No. I don't think we've had a bloody touch, have we? <laughs> Rui Silva's gone long. Right, Atto's up against our young left back who's been beaten. Keeper, surely. Ui, he's fucking caught one. To be fair, Simon, he's had a really, he's had a really, that's just me in a bad mood. Simon's had a really good season. He's just picked a wrong time to do a fuck up, really. Serrano, because he had a really poor first season, if you remember. Um, Serrano goes in. Williams, Serrano, Marcillo, get in. Good start to the second half. 1 1. <sighs> Breathe. Yeah, so Simon's been tremendous, really. World class goalkeeper, Spanish number one. And we're back in it. We're going to praise it. Let's get that. Oh, they didn't like that. Praising it, boys. We're back in the game. Right, money ain't he's dead. Let's get the veteran on. Garcia, another potential departure in the summer. Wants a new challenge. Martinez wants a new challenge, the central midfielder. Um, Nunes wants to go. There may be a bit of a turnaround, which I don't want for a few of them because it's going to be hard to replace. Some of the older boys, though, we will let go. Um, but players like Nunes, I don't really want to go. Villa Libra, I would keep as well. But he's desperate to leave. That's a wasted pass. Absolute wasted pass from Martinez. I don't know what he was thinking of with that. May just take him off ball-playing defender because they just try and overdo it sometimes. Kappa's has been caught out at right back. Letting the ball go over his head, but Sanchez got it. I'm edgy, boys. I'm edgy. Williams, we need to get a winner. Williams, on this right-hand side, cross, blocked. No, they're not coming at us, are they? Win it. No. Nope. Oh, it's getting sent off. It's getting sent off. Right, let's get Nanol's skin on. You can go in there. It's going to be full-time. It's 1-1 against fucking Granada. We're getting relegated, boys. Oh, my God. I need to come up with a plan B, because I like this, this ta ta tactic, fine, I'm happy with it, I'm not going to change the tactic, it does what we need to do, but I need to make a bit of a plan B, because we've fucked up now, I don't think we could even get Champions League, no, we've, oh boys, we've blown it, ah, right, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to show you the second game because it means absolutely nothing. We've finished fifth, which is really disappointing. We've blown it. Absolutely blown it. Drawing a defeat from two teams that we should be beating at home. One point from a possible six. Dear me. Right. We're going to go again. Good thing is, though, bit of a change around. Overall happiness. Jesus, look at that. Very unhappy. Why is he very unhappy? Harsh team talk. He's... he's He's unhappy about my harsh team talk when we lost to the team that plays in the third tier. And he's unhappy about how I spoke to him because we got beat to them. And that was about, what, five months ago. 
So, Rufi is retiring. We've still got a sub-keeper there. Stay. Martinez, you're right. Nunes wants to leave. But I look all the clubs after him. He's desperate to leave. I do want him to stay. And playing him more often, I would hope he would decide to stay. Um, he is a little bit younger than the others as well. 26. Martinez is 32. So, we'd, ideally, I want Nunes to become the long-term partner. Garcia's another one. He's 29. May want more game time. He wanted a loan spell. He's played two games for us this season, so potentially he may go. Kappa's fine. Javi Martinez has suffered a really bad injury. I'd be surprised if he actually doesn't retire. And he's got one year left on his deal. He will be nowhere. I'll even probably put him in the B team next year if he's still with us. Nanolskin, happy with him. Yuri, getting to the age now, he's 33. Boringa, happy. Cordoba, happy. Probably a long-term solution for us at left-back um, with Yuri. Definitely peaking, but he's still doing well. Pace 14. Nice is probably going to only have one more season with us at that sort of like high level. Beringa's had a decent season for us, doing a nice little job for us. Pablo Colombani, improved pace. Pace is on the improvement in stamina as well, so he's going to be a decent left back for us. Already valued at 4.6 million, so he will be part of the first team squad next year. Herrera will try and get back. Danny Garcia, good player, but he's 32. He's going to be on the down low. He'll probably be his final season as a key player for us. Venciador is doing okay. He will be staying. Sanche will be staying. Need to give him a little bit more game time. He probably deserves a little bit more game time as well, to be fair. We'll now probably get it as well because Unai Lopez will leave. He's played, what, 15 appearances subs. I'd rather give them games to Sanche. Inaki Williams not hit his 20 goals, which is disappointing. Unless he scores a hat-trick in the last game. Will we ever see him score bloody 20 league goals? He's improving though. He's had a decent season. We've got a tactic that really suits him. as him playing as that lone striker. Hopefully next season will be the season for him. John Morcillo has done very well. A lot of sub-appearances, but comes on and does a job. Five goals, five assists. Munayin, how we forget about him. He is obviously peaking. He's going to be 31 at Christmas. Still valued at 51 million. Luckily for us, playing in that Mazzala role, he can do it. We're just going to have to be able to manage him a little bit better. I have got my youngster Pachecho now training, my wonder kid training as a Mazzala to be the replacement for him in maybe two years. And then down at the bottom, we've got Serrano. has done very well for 17 goals in all competitions. He will obviously will be going nowhere. Even if he wants to leave, he'll be going nowhere. His release clause is big, 150 million, so we're okay there. And Villa Libra... I would want to keep, but he's desperate to go, so it's highly likely he will leave in the summer unless I can change his mind. If we don't get a bit of money that we want, I'm not going to sell him on the cheap. I'm going to ask for I'm going to ask for five million. Oh no, four point six we've agreed, so I'll, we'll take four point six. Ika Diaz, the other centre forward that we've got, can't do the same job as what Inaki does. So maybe when he plays, I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit. So there is all the potential issues coming through in the B team. We do have a few players that are nearly ready. Pedro Bogosa is going to have one more season in the B team and then we'll look at shipping out the sort of like the number two keeper and move him in. Danny Vivian is an option for us to come in at centre half as well. 23 years old, has got two years left on his deal, is doing quite well in the B team for us. Remember, they're playing second tier as well. Ander Ortega is one that I'm going to move up. One, because he's only got a year left. No, sorry, he's got two years left. Um, generally unhappy. Wanted by big clubs. Marseille, Ajax, Madrid, Vigo, Real Madrid, Valencia, Villarreal. I'm going to get him. He's six foot three. He's going to come in to the midfield next season. Um, and then we've got players Luis Placente, a decent left back, who's going to maybe have the opportunity to progress. Technicals aren't great. Now looking at maybe, what's he, 19, he's, he's going to maybe be a backup. The only thing is we've got a superb array of left-backs, unfortunately. Rion Otoza is another player who's doing okay. Central midfield, um, five foot nine, decent physicals. Hasn't really improved much on his technicals over the last year, though. Nico Williams, his brother's no good. And then in the under-19s, Borja Blanco won't be ready just yet. He's going to have to have a season. He's just one of our new players this season. Where is Pacheco? There he is. He's on the improvement. 
When do, what do we do with him? Do we put him in the first team squad next season? Let me know down in the comments. Is he the backup? Is he the backup two star? For is he the backup that we have for money in two star? Is he ready? Probably not. But what I am thinking of is moving all these fantastic players. So four star and above, all them up into the B team who are in the second tier and doing pretty well. They're in 10th. They've had a really good season. Um, so the opportunity there for us to give our young players a boost and get them playing at a good standard for a season and then look at maybe the season after moving them up. So there's a million and one things there to think about. Devastation, no Champions League. Players to sell. Maybe give us a little bit of money to spend to bring up maybe a couple of players in, potentially. Will be obviously be difficult. We need to get Herrera back on loan. That's going to be key for a season. And then which of the youngsters? We maybe call up a couple. Uh, maybe no more than two. Just to get us through. And hopefully pick up maybe one, two signings. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've liked that, enjoyed that little rundown. If you like a regular sort of like season review, they're now going to be available on my Patreon. You can help support me as a creator from just $1.99 a month. Alright, cheers guys, take care, see you later.